Welcome to Ben's Album Challenge here on the Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. So this is a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. Ben's Album Challenge is a show that I do once a week on Sunday nights in which a subscriber of mine, Ben, who's also a friend, also gives me an album. I review it and then give my opinion about it and uh, he likes me to choose one particular song and I've chosen one. So the group we're doing this week is called Jackal. They're a Canadian band from the early 70s. Kind of a, um, I guess there's a progressive element to their music, a little bit of a psychedelic element to the music, but a lot of heavy bluesy sound to their music as well. Um, the album came out in 1973. It's called Awake. Um, eight tracks. No, it's not an eight track. There's eight tracks on it. Okay, so there's, uh, for the most part, this is a keyboard dominated album with lots of heavy guitar playing and lots of heavy drumming. You know, it sounds like an album from that era. It does sound dated from that era, for sure. Uh, the Hammond organ sound, which proliferates the album, is very dominating. Um, and it's constant throughout the entire album. This isn't something I generally like with my music. So, the album is going to take a bit of a hit because of that. There is some great guitar soloing at different points on the album some good drumming at different points in the album. I find the vocalist a little bit, mm, how do you say, indiscriminate. I just, I don't find there's anything special about his vocals, anything that makes him stand out or anything that's really memorable at all, really. Um, I guess for the album it's not bad, but it just, it just doesn't capture my imagination, his vocals at all. Um, the organ is probably too much for the album, like there's too much of it. For me, Hammond organ has to be really used in a certain way, and if it's overused, it kind of destroys the whole effect, in my opinion. Okay, so um, that opening track at the station, kind of a psychedelic heavy song. Um, it's a, it's a heavy guitars album, but it, it, it really has that psychedelic feel to it, this song, and mostly because of the Hammond organ, I think. I didn't mind this track, though. It was one of the ones I liked. Uh, the next three, I think the next three songs are all below par for me. Um, for You, kind of a heavy bluesy track. Sunny Sign of the Day, another bluesy track with some keyboards. Um, the guitar is kind of bluesy. The vocals are are like what I said, they're a bit indiscriminate and add nothing to the song if you ask me. It's got, it's a pretty dominant organ sounding out, uh, song. A New Day Has Arisen. This one's a little more proggy than the other ones, but still basically not a song that I care much for. Is it, it, it really keyboard overkill on this particular track? I think the heavy guitar rifting isn't bad and the guitar part is a little bit more forward here than it is on the first three, four tracks, three tracks, yeah, first three tracks, okay, so, so the back half of the album I think is better than the front half of the album. In that time period you had a back half and a front half, <laughs> not so much anymore, now it's just one solid album right through and through. Um, so the first song, uh, how, how Time Has Flown, eh, another keyboard dominated song, another, the guitar part's a little more interesting on this track and the beat is a little more catchy, I think. The vocal part um, is, um, yeah, it's okay. It's nothing fantastic though. And the solo part is pretty good. So it's a pretty, pretty solid track. I gave this one a five. There's no failures on the back half here. Lost in the World, which is the next track. Um, it's got more of that indiscriminate 
vocal sound. That, and there's nothing particularly special about this song, but there's it's not a bad song. I didn't mind it. Then the last two tracks, In the Heavens. This is a heavier track, kind of a rocky, with a kind of a catchy rift. Um, there's a bit of a twin vocal going on here, I think, and that's a little bit different than the rest of the album, and it's a little more catchy, and I didn't mind this song. So my favorite track is this last track, which is Awake. Um, the drum and guitar rift are kind of catchy here. Uh, they're together, so they're rifting together. The solo is pretty good on this one. Keyboard solo was okay as well. Um, then there's more of that drum, which is really catchy. I think that's why I like this song This song more than the other songs, is the drum bit is really catchy. Um, there is a bit of that Bon Tepe keyboard sound that we... Um, that was familiar with that time period. This one's a little heavier on it than most of the other tracks. I don't really care for that too much. But the guitar, this this scraping kind of catchy guitar bit at the end is is pretty is pretty good. I like that. And um, overall, this track I like the best. I gave it a six. I think it's a pretty strong track. Rest of the album, eh, it's okay. It's not a bad album by any stretch. I don't want to give the impression that it's a bad album. I don't think it's bad. I don't. I don't have anything really negative to say other than I don't care much for the Hammond organ that's dominating the album, and the guy's vocals are a bit on the weak side. But everything else is pretty good. Uh, the riffs are not too bad. The songs are not too bad, but just not terribly memorable, that's all. Anyways, that album from Jackal, which came out in 1973, is, um, I think it's not too hard to find. If you just, But you got to remember when you punch it in, if you punch in Jackal uh, band, they will give you the y, the Jackal, the American Jackal band with the Y at instead of the A where the jackal is. So instead of getting J-A-C-K-L, jackal, Canadian band, you'll get J-A-C-K-Y-L, which is the American jackal band, which is a very different sounding band. They're much heavier. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Ben's Album Challenge. Uh, I know he has another one ready for me to go. I listened to it briefly this afternoon. Uh, it's a heavy metal band. So this one will be a little bit different, but I think it will be a little bit more to my liking as well. So anyways, I hope you, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And give this album a listen. Me, you know. My ears are just tone deaf to that Hammond organ, so I have a hard time with it. So you might hear something that you like a lot more. And so have yourself a great day from Prog Monster. Goodbye.